Hey everyone, great to see you again. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a savings account ledger to your automated Excel budget that you already have created. If you are subscribed for my Google Sheets budget, don't worry, that video is coming next. This will be a shorter video than most because the steps don't take that long. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into another video. If you're new here, just know that this channel is all about teaching you how to work smarter, not harder. We do tutorials on things like Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets so that you can work smarter, not harder, whether that's in a corporate environment, in school, or at home doing budgeting stuff. If that interests you at all, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification below so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. Also, if you could, try to hit that like button and leave a comment below. That forces the YouTube algorithm to share this video with more people, which ultimately helps Helps out my channel. All right, let's dig in. The first thing I need to do is add a couple categories to my dropdown in my log sheet. I'll do that by selecting the first dropdown in column E. From there, I'll click on the data tab and then on data validation. From there, I'm going to add a transfer to savings and transfer to checking as categories with commas in between. From there, I'm going to click on the checkbox that says, apply these changes to all other cells with the same settings. This will make the changes not just to this one cell, but to all the cells in this column that have the same dropdown settings. You should see the column highlighted when you click that. From there, just click OK. It's actually pretty simple from here. I'm going to start by adding a new sheet to my workbook. I'll do that by clicking down here on the little plus sign. Now, I'll right click and then select Rename. I'm going to name mine Savings Account, then hit Enter. Now I can start adding formulas. I'll start by adding the Starting Balance column. So in A1, I'll type Starting Balance. Now I need to add a transfer to the Savings Account in the log sheet before I can build my formula. So on the log sheet, I'll add today's date and then transfer to Savings in the Description column. I'll also select it in the category column. In the debt column, I'll add $200. Now, on the savings account sheet, I can create a formula for transferred in. So, on the savings account sheet, in cell A2, I'm going to type transferred to savings. Cell B2 is where I'll add the formula. I'll start by typing equal sum ifs with an opening parentheses. The first rule is asking you to add the sum range. So I'm going to click on the log sheet and select the entire debits column. Now add a comma. The next rule is asking for the criteria range. So I'm going to go back to the log page and select the entire category column. Now add another comma. Now it's asking for the actual criteria. So inside of quotes, I'm going to type transfer to savings. Basically, this formula is telling Excel to sum any debits in the debits column when the category column says transfer to savings. Now I'll close the formula with a closing parentheses and hit enter. Now I'm ready to set up a formula that tracks all the money we transfer from savings account to the checking account. So in cell A3, I'm going to type transferred to checking. Before I create the formula, I'm going to add a transfer to checking in the log sheet. So I'll add today's date. Then, in the description column, I'm going to type transfer to checking. In the category column, I'll select transfer to checking. Now, instead of adding the dollar amount in the debits column like I did for the transfer to savings, I'm going to add it to the income column since it's money coming into the checking account. Now I'm ready to create the formula in the savings account sheet. I'll do that by typing in cell B3 equals sum ifs with an opening parentheses. It's asking for the sum range, so I'll go to the log page and select the entire income column, as opposed to the debit column, and add a comma. Now, I'll select the entire category column as the criteria range and add another comma. Now, inside of quotes, I'll type transfer to checking. Now, close off the formula with a closing parentheses and hit enter. The last thing to do is make a formula to tally the current balance after all the transfer to savings and transfer to checking transactions. So in cell A4, I'll type current balance. In cell B4, I'll type equals sum, and then opening parentheses, and then select B1 plus B2 minus B3. 
close it with a closing parenthesis and hit enter. Now you have a savings account balance that will update each time you make another log in your log sheet, whether that is to transfer money into the savings from the checking account or into the checking account from the savings account. If you want to take it a step further, you could always add a data bar to track your savings goal. I'll show you how to do that really quick. I'm going to select cell B4, which should be current savings account balance. From there, I'm going to select the home tab and then click on conditional formatting. From there, I'm going to select the green data bar. Now, while I still have cell B4 selected, I'm going to click on conditional formatting again and click on manage rules. From there, I'm going to double click the formatting I just created. Now in each of the dropdowns for type under minimum and maximum, I'm going to select a number. I'm going to leave the minimum at zero, but I'm going to put 2000 as the goal I want to get to. Now I'm going to press OK and then apply and then OK again. Now you have a data bar that will update anytime you add or subtract money from your savings account. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching.